So for fingerstyle playing, we're going to be dealing with the thumb and the fingers. So the thumb will get used for the big strings, we call these the bass strings. The general rule in classical is that the thumb, in classical fingerstyle, the thumb will pick down to the floor. So on top of the string, and then brushing the side, even with just the skin of the side, for a softer classical bass tone. So that's with the sixth string, fifth string, or fourth string. Now you notice there's different ways you can pick. You can do, you can pick a free stroke where your finger doesn't touch the string below it. It picks the string and goes at an angle away from the string below it. The opposite is a rest stroke. Now you'll see my thumb going through the string, pushing more downward, resting on the string below it. That'll create a louder a louder tone, a fuller tone. So thumb on the sixth string. You can do thumb on the fifth string. Thumb on the fourth string. Okay. Then when you get down to the smaller treble strings, you want to use the fingers individually in the classical technique. So the index finger will, you want to have your hand sort of like this. So your thumb will brush on the side away from the fingers and not run into them. All right? Because here we're going to pick up. Up as in this way. Okay, so the my fingers underneath the third string and I'm picking upwards. the string and into the hand. Now that's a free stroke. Now the middle finger, the second finger, middle finger, is going to use the second string. And underneath that string I'm going to pick through that string. So the second string now, picking through that string from underneath, picking up. The ring finger is going to go underneath the first string and then you pick un from underneath the string upwards. And you notice there's a bit of an angle so that I can go through the string comfortably and easily when I pick these fingers. So this would be your first exercise to practice using these fingers with this classical rule so the thumb starts with the big string, go down with the thumb on the sixth string, down with the thumb on the fifth string, down with the thumb on the fourth string, then pick up with the index finger on the third string, up with the middle finger on the second string, up with the ring finger on the first string. And that will give you the the rule for which string to, and which finger to use. Another way to think of this is you actually plant or place everything on the strings before you 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 play in the classical position like this. Um, so in this position, I've got my fingers all ready to go. They don't have to stay glued there. At least they're there. I can find them. So get used to finding them. This is called the block chord formation because sometimes you pick it all together as one. That would be the block chord. But it's a good place to start when you're doing these arpeggios one string at a time. Thumb, 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 index, middle, ring. Thumb, thumb, 
thumb, index, middle, ring. And the, so we practice picking the strings from the sixth string to the first string. The next thing to do, start out with your block chord formation, resting, planting on the strings, then pick the smallest string towards the biggest string and using the same finger rules. So first string with the ring, middle finger, second string, thir third string with the index, then the thumb on the fourth, down, thumb on the fifth, down, thumb on six, down. So like this. Ring, middle, index, thumb, thumb, thumb. So now we pick the strings from the small string to the large string. And with that combination and that finger rule, you should be able to do the majority of classical arpeggios and um, finger picking techniques are based on that initial starting technique.